Hey, this is Presh Walker. This riddle makes the rounds from time to time, and I think it makes for a very good interview question to see how people think. A child was playing with a book and tore out the pages 7, 8, 100, 101, 222, and 223. How many pages did the child tear out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The psychologist Daniel Kahneman dubbed two different systems for thinking. System one is fast, automatic, frequent, emotional, and unconscious. System two, on the other hand, is slow, effortful, infrequent, calculating, and conscious. So if we use system one thinking to solve this problem, we would see that there are six numbers, which we would think there are six pages the child tore out. Now that is not the intent of the puzzle, but if we apply system two thinking, we could justify this answer. Imagine you have a book where there is just numbering on one side of the page or on each leaf. Here's an example of such a book. There is just numbering on one side. So it is possible to justify the answer of six pages because there are some books that just have numbering on one side of each sheet. But if you then apply system two thinking again, you'll know this is not the intent of the puzzle. Typically, most books will be numbered on the front and the back of each leaf. So you then might fall into the trap of system one thinking that there will only be three pages that are torn out. Seven, eight will be on one sheet, 100, 101 will be on another, and 222 and 223 will be on the third. But again, this is the wrong answer. So let's take a look at a tale of two cities. In this type of book, which is a standard numbering in many books, we have odd numbers on the right hand side and even numbers on the left hand side. So now let's solve the problem. So seven will be on the right hand side and eight will be on the back. Seven and eight will be on one sheet. Then we have 100 on the left, 101 on the right. There will be on two different sheets. We also have 222 on the left side and 223 on the right side. They will be on different sheets. So in total, we have five sheets that are torn out of the book. And that's the intended answer to the puzzle. But now let's apply system two thinking one more time. There are books where the odd numbers are on the left hand side. Take a look at the Book of Kells, for example, where we have even numbers on the right hand side and odd numbers on the left hand side. So how would we solve the problem in this case? We have seven on the left, then we have eight on the right. We would have 100 on the right side and on its back side will be 101. We would also have 222 on the right side and on the back side will be 223. So this will be a total of four sheets torn out of the book. So let's summarize. If we have odd numbers on the right hand side, which is a standard way to number many books, there will be five pages torn out. Seven to eight will be on one, then we have 100, 101, 222, and 223. If we flip it so that odd numbers are on the left side, there will only be four pages torn out. Seven, eight, then 100 and 101, and 222 and 223. Finally, if we just have one number per leaf, there will be six pages, each page having just one number. So if you've made it this far, I want to thank you for using System 2 slow thinking, and I just want to point out one more interesting thing about this puzzle. According to Merriam-Webster, the definition of page is one of the leaves of a publication or manuscript, but it also means a single side of one of these leaves. In the first sentence of the riddle, pages is in the context of a page number, so that clearly refers to a numbered side of a sheet, which is the front or the back. In the second sentence, the same word pages appears, 
but we intuitively know this refers to each sheet, a front and a back, because the child is tearing a page out of the book. So this is actually a great credit to System 1 intuitive and fast thinking that nobody who reads this puzzle for the first time would be confused that the same word pages means one thing in the first sentence and another thing in the second sentence. So this puzzle tests our thinking on many levels. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.